Hi, this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Uh, welcome to my totally free office hours. Uh, today we're working on the August 2016 New York Algebra 1 Common Core Regions Problem 10. Uh, if you want to access these exams, whether you're from New York or anywhere else in the world, go to nysedregions.org. Uh, click around, uh, click uh, on the tabs, and you you should be able to find the, any of these tests. Uh, they're freely available online. Uh, here's the problem: Which function defines the sequence negative six, negative ten, negative fourteen, negative eighteen? Dot dot dot, where f of six is equal to negative twenty six. Choice one. Uh, f of x equals negative 4x minus 2, or choice 2, 4x minus 2, or choice 3, negative x plus 32, or choice 4, x minus 26. Uh, now, how to do this question? There's a, there's a few ways that they want you to do this question. Uh, but the first thing to note before anything else, that there's a thing that they expect you to know no matter what. Uh, for al In Algebra 1, okay, the first element, Um, is for x equals 1 or n equals 1, okay? In some, in some cases, it's going to be n equals 1, okay? And that, that's, uh, that's just they expect you to know that you've gone through a whole year of, of learning, supposedly, in someone else's classroom. Uh, hopefully, they got that through you. So that's just expected. So it doesn't – in higher-level classes, sometimes we start at 0, Um in a lot of situations, we want to start at zero, but that's the higher level classes in this class. Just to make it simple, we always start at one. Okay, so that said, how to do this problem? There is a quick way to do this problem on the calculator. Uh, I'm going to clear this, and I'm going to clear that. Okay, and I'm going to just I'm going to type in one of the qu uh, choices: negative four x minus two, four x minus two. Let's see, x minus negative x plus thirty two and x minus twenty six. Uh, fair warning. At least one of these generally works uh, for a bunch of these choices. Frequently, they'll, they'll always work for the first choice. So if you want to take a test number and do it on, on paper, I would choose number somewhere farther along the list. Uh, and a lot of them will probably satisfy the condition that f of 6 is negative 26. But let's see. I'm going to do choice 1. Why not? Uh, negative 4x minus 2. Okay. And I'm going to go to the table. And for n for x equals one, which is the first element of the list, you got negative six. And then the next one, negative ten, then negative fourteen, then negative eighteen. I got a lucky guess. Negative twenty-two and negative twenty-six. F of six is in fact also negative twenty-six. So I got lucky. And I got I guessed on the calculator, choice one is the correct answer. All right. So how do you do this? So the, so that's method one. Uh, plug in the functions uh, and test values. Okay, test values. So that's the method. So method two, there's many methods. So method two, it's in, it, to actually inspect the sequence. Okay. So I see in the sequence that the sequence increase, go, uh, decreases from negative 6 to negative 10. That's a subtraction of 4. Uh, that's also from negative 10 to negative 14. That's a subtraction of 4. And from negative 14 to negative 18, that's a subtraction of 4. Uh, and then if I subtract, negative, uh, subtract 4, I get negative 22. And if I subtract 4 again to get the 6 element, I get to negative, 20, uh, negative 26. Okay, subtract 4, I get negative 26, as I should expect from this. This is the definition of an arithmetic sequence. The number that I'm adding is uh, negative 4. Okay, so uh, let's, see, let's see what is available to me in the formula sheet. I'm going to scroll down. This is, my, this is my version of the test that I've created. Sorry for the quick scrolling. Okay. So here's my formula sheet. This is the same formula sheet available to you in the regions. So this is freely available to you. Uh, and I see an arithmetic sequence. It's right here. Arithmetic sequence, a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 d. Let's get this on the screen. Okay. Cool. 
So there's a, there's there it is right on the formula sheet. You really get yourself familiar with that formula sheet so you know that it's available. Uh, so a n is equal to a one plus n minus one d. The d is the common difference. which is negative four, okay? Uh, and A1 is the first element. The first element of the sequence, which in this case is uh, here, right here, negative six. These are, this is D, this is A1. So A1 is negative six, okay? So the sequence is AN is equal to negative six plus n minus 1 times negative 4. And in this case, I'm going to switch it with x's because it's a function of x. So f of x uh, is equal to uh, negative 6 plus uh, x minus 1 times negative 4. Okay, then I just got to do a little bit of algebra. Okay. Uh, there you go. Um, so let's see. I'm going to distribute this negative 4. Okay, so equals negative 6 plus uh, negative 4x. And then minus 1 times neg negative 4 is po plus 4. Uh, negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2, so equals negative 4x minus 2, as we expected. So that is, in fact, our answer. Okay, so here's a problem created by us that you can practice on. Uh, which function has the property that f of 10 is 100 and defines the sequence that uh, 86.5, 88, 89.5, 91, etc. And it's one of those answers. Uh, at this point, you should pause the video, try the problem on your own, and when you're finished, press play to see our solution. Uh, the way the way we're able to provide these tutorials totally free is by having viewers like you see these videos. So if you like what you see, click the like button, subscribe, let your friends know that these are available. We're doing uh, all the math levels, uh, so keep in, keep an eye out for those uh so here's 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 how it goes this sequence uh let's see the common difference 86.5 to 88 that's 1.5 uh 88 to 89.5 that's also 1.5 and 89.5 to 91 that's also 1.5 so this is an arithmetic sequence most likely it is and in, in in algebra one it will be uh there's obviously an infinite number of sequences that ha that start out with just any four numbers i could sequence it however i want so i got an a n is equal to a one plus n minus one d in this case let's use the f notation so f of n equal uh in this case it's x so i'm sorry so f of x is equal to a one or f of 1 plus x minus 1 times d. Okay, uh, and d is 1.5, and a1 is 86. Point, uh, f of 1 is 86.5, so it's equal to uh, 86.5 plus x minus 1 times 1.5. I distribute the 1.5 in. And I got 86.5 plus uh, 1.5x minus 1.5. 86.5 minus 85 uh, minus 1.5 is 85. So 1.5x plus 85. Okay, uh, and that is choice three. And you can check by plugging in any number that you choose. How about uh, four? So let x equals 4, we should get 91, because that's the fourth element of the list. f of 4 is equal to 1.5 times 4 plus 85, which is equal to 1.5 times 4 is 6 plus 85 equals 91, which is checks our answer. So that's choice 3. All right, uh, look, you can do it. I believe in you. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next video starting right now.